I spent 500 days in a medieval rim world facing the brutal challenge of naked brutality. Can I not only survive but achieve monumental goals like constructing a giant castle, battling endless raids with magic, facing legendary beasts in combat and destroying enemy factions across the entire planet? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Welcome to Rim World. So we're here in a medieval rim world. We are limited to the pre-industrial era. So we're going to try to survive here. We also have vanilla sidecast expanded here so this will be like a fantasy medieval playthrough yeah we will simply see how this goes so let's just start off well then let's just plant some rice for now we are in the dark forest here which has a 30 day growing period so we need to prepare for the winter there also seem to have been a war zone here we can deconstruct uh, to be fair we don't need to plant some food right now we have berry bushes mushrooms apple trees everything so silver will work on our shack now it will be turned into a castle in the future a huge one but for now just make sure we have a home so the shack will not be done for the night so we will have to sleep outside well then the next morning we're sleeping tightly on the ground we also have an ancient danger here we could crack open in the future so we'd like to get some pawns with the natural meditation type here because the anima tree here needs that would really like to get some psychasters a nice and beautiful day here in medieval rim world it's going well so far we're almost done we have some random ass death stinger hornets here and they are starving they want to eat us and there we go the house has been constructed now the problem is that this raw wood is not really that useful you will need timber here for everything so i'm going to have to start researching lumber with raw wood you can make a wooden simple research bench and there we go got a light source just research now we are really living in a wonderful forest this looks beautiful a mad rat yeah we're not playing on randy random we have maynard medieval so let's see how he goes summer has begun but winter is coming hey, it will be minus 14 celsius here so we need to get ready make sure to prepare enough food or we have to start hunting there is so much food here we don't have to grow things i'd have to harvest this whole forest for the winter supply balloons oh so like transport crashes nice muffalo wool with this i'm sure we can make a bed no okay i will need some timber but yeah this is very nice i already have a raid from the black plane pact a group of brigands what is this audrey we're going to place up a cavalry spike and see if we can take her out bunch of wild men eating my food what Oh no, she's attacking the wild men. Ah, oh, please get down. I oh, know all the humans are angry. Kill them all. Okay, Audrey is weakened here, so she should die. So a good miner, construction, and an artist. And she could also become a sidecaster, so I already have to get a recruit. Okay, Audrey, only three resistance. This will be very easy. Yeah, be sure to recruit her as fast as possible. We will also have to convert her, but shouldn't be an issue. Bunch of bugs knocking on our door. Ah, they are hungry. Okay, we have some free insect meat. Desperate refugee for 19 days. We will accept this 100%. So for the faction and settlement it will be the medieval municipality anyways you are good at mining animals crafting and art hmm but a pyromaniac let's have you mine out the base here and yeah just rest up and now a fight here with a random death stinger there we go maul them berserk from audrey but she's been dealt with we are starving now so i need to get some more food and yeah keep on recruiting audrey bunch of wild men here that are going to starve free human meat a musical trader so free instruments maybe piano and cargo pods from Maynard Medieval with some clothing. So they sell a bunch of instruments that increase the wielder's artistic skill. Interesting. Well, we will be sure to buy that in the future. Now we're gathering some more food for the future. I still need to research lumber here. Need to get some planks. My goodness, a berserk out of nowhere. That is some free catharsis plus 70 mood. 
Now a heat wave from Maynard Medieval. Oh no, it's going to go all the way up to 40 Celsius. Now a fire starting spree. Well, there's not much we can do since she's a pyromaniac refugee. Luckily, Silver is not in a mental break, so we can take the fires out. And now muscle parasites on Audrey, so that will be a lot of pain, less manipulation, and more sleeping. Anyways, we got lumber, finally. We need to get a wooden trestle down and Sara wood into planks. 45 Celsius outdoors. We're going to need a passive cooler. Oh no, this fire is going to spread everywhere. Okay, finally some rain from Maynard Medieval. And Silver is sawing wood into planks. First and foremost, I would like some muffalo wool fur beds. And now a daze on the desperate refugee. I accepted you here and now you're just going to be sad. I think you should get a mood buff for accepting desperate refugees. They're not grateful at all. And finally recruited Audrey. Welcome aboard, Melarchy. Now you can't do anything because of your wounds and your muscle parasites. So yes, rest up. We need to expand upon the castle. A raid from Neanderthals. Okay, singular, a single Neanderthal that will die. The heat wave is finally over. We had such high heat stroke. Oh my, Insta down silver. And oh my, we executed a guy. Ah, that was an epic fight. Ah, it's because silver had food poisoning. Oh, that's one dead Neanderthal. He was pretty okay. Three iron knife to shank people up with. So Malarkey and the refugee don't have medicals. Only silver can tend. Visitors to trade, hello. So I've searched this map here, but there's only dispatch of iron ore. Yeah, not a lot of resources, so we will need a quarry. But we will get Malarkey here to start mining. So the visitors here have a genie pack with strong melee damage and fertility while indoors. For only 233 silver, I need that. But we have no silver. So we do have one problem with the refugee here. So she has an opium addiction, but it is in withdrawal so she is useless and she will depart in 12 days so she will get all the mental breaks and such i say we organ harvest her uh, more desperate refugees okay let's see how he is so she is oh my essentially better than the other refugee well then you will do mining the new refugee is much more productive already getting some iron ore so the thing is that we will have to smelt this down into steel that we will need to get a furnace and eating without a table is a minus free moody buff but the most important part is getting a table already harvesting some organs here and there we go the first one the kidney i think the lung so the next task is getting stone walls here so stone cutting we will also need this to make the furnace to smelt down iron into steel and in the meantime we will get some more weapons like bows and such and got all the organs. Silver and Malarkey are having a social fight. Malarkey openly insulted Silver's shooting skill. <laughs> yeah, the colony is not doing so well. Everybody is just sad. The average colonist mood is down to below 10%. And now the flu on silver. Okay, I think we will survive this since the flu is the least deadliest disease. Well, the days are just passing by with silver foraging for food and medicine. Just to survive and Malarkey still resting up. So Malarkey doesn't have a lot to do now. So I think I'll have her become a Psycaster. So the anima tree is behind this great oak here. You can barely see it. But yeah, I just assign her to meditate the whole day. Ooh, a lot of silver ore here we can mine out. We have a bunch of xenotypes here. Look at this one, a deer man. Also have a visitor, so yes, trading away some stuff. Arcane goods merchant. So this is from medieval overhaul arcane archaeologists. Now these people look pretty cool, you have to say so. The only thing I can trade with them is some amber from the trees. Hmm, maybe we can make money by chopping down trees. So even silver has to be refined from silver ore into silver. So we cannot use this to trade. Okay, production is underway. We're making a short bow for silver. So butchering up creatures here yield a bunch of stuff. So you get bone, you get fat, and you get the pelt. So we need to process the hide into tanned leather. Ooh, we got a gift from the caravan, a kunai and a short bow. It looks like silver will survive the flu 
unfortunately. Yeah, the colony is progressing. I would like to add some flooring soon to the base. So let's see. Finally got stone cutting. Well, then we need some more food. Need to chop down some trees. But we will have the refugee just chop up some blocks. Finally chopping up some blocks. And with this, we will make a sandstone furnace. Transport balloon crash. What? the hell a deer man or a deer woman she is oh my she is not too bad i mean why not we need a good craftsman which we do not have now but also become a good plantist and animalist don't worry we will tend to you furry lindworm wanders in so they are sought after their robust fur and majestic horns a ah, big snake so like a frumbo Ooh, a meteorite shower with a bunch of resources. So we got adamantite, salt ore, onyx, and ancient metal. Now meteorite of coal ore from main or medieval. I believe you will need coal to fuel the furnace. Minus two Celsius already. Oh my goodness, how did fall arrive? How did it get so cold so quickly? Okay, for the winter, I think we'll have to rely on hunting. As it's not looking too good. It's already winter and all the vegetation will die. And the furnace is up. So then we can smelt iron ore, silver ore, and all of this. Almost on flooring in our house now. We will stay here, cozed up in the winter. We also have three anima grass at this anima tree. We need 20 before we can become a psycaster. So this is quite interesting. A heavy fur tail cap here grants you 15 insulation so she can survive minus 4 Celsius silver, even though she's completely naked in the torso. So I think the next thing we're going for is food preservation. Now the main thing is to get meat racks here so we can dry meat. So relying on just meat for the winter would be the best option. Also smelting down iron ore into iron ingots. Refugees leaving. Oh my, iron bit. Well then, it has been good having you, I suppose. Now it's just silver malarkey and our stiff tar, the deer. And the whole base has been floored in. Wonderful. A samurai master crafter. Interesting. They look pretty cool from the Edo era. New quest, the deserter. So we'll get two silent neuroformers, which means getting a bunch of psycasters. It means we will become enemies of the empire, but at least we get a recruit as well. Let's see here. Plants, double passion, medical, shooting, melee, industrious. He's good. Welcome aboard, Kagaraf. And here is the raid. Nothing too difficult, I hope. So from the samurai trader, this is what I'm trading. Getting a bunch of weapons and armor and selling off the organs. And a raid from clan folks. What is this? This is horrible. Now luckily the samurai caravan is still here, so they should die. Here we go, war. My goodness, his head got torn off. Yeah, this is just brutal. And now we have to take care of the Empire. Oh no, the Empire is enemy of the Samurai Clan. Okay, free loot. Nice. My goodness, what an execution. But wait, he died? The guy that ex... <laughs> what is that? Okay, loot up, loot up. A space battle? What is this? Spaceships in Medieval Rim World? We already decked out in loot. Wow. I think I should make a small freezer for the meat here since it's winter. The meat here will spoil quicker in the heat. Okay, so I need to get the silent neuroformer here. It is located how many days? Oh, barely one day away. So I think I'll send out Kagoraf to get the silent neuroformers and then Larky can become a psycaster. The snow is falling upon the cold grounds. We are soon done expanding the base. I would like to process all of these pelts here that we have butchered up so we need to start researching i'll need to research lever tanning if i want to get raw animal pelts into leather and we've arrived at the outpost let's see here oh looks very nice what is that a possessed magma blade so i think the possessed title here is a replacement for persona so a persona magma blade mm, but it's not too good minor psychic amplifier and mad muttering kagoref the unit take them out Oh no, they're attacking the insects. What is this? Uh, Juliana is just dead. 
Yeah, that was quite simple. Very bread here, yummy. Let's see here. So the side link neuroformer should be in here. There we go. So let's apply this on Malarkey once we come back. She is in a berserk. Just randomly killing some animals. Okay, this is what Kagareth is bringing back. Let's see here, Malarkey. Wow, you took them all out. Yeah, I still need to convert Malarkey, so maybe I should do that right now. And an infection on Malarkey. Hopefully she will be fine. And Kagaraf is back. The colony is flourishing. We got Malarkey being converted. Stiff tar will soon be ours. So the colony is just growing. And then we will expand upon the castle here. One more layer. And converted Malarkey. So we will release you straight away. And now we will have you use Silink. So I think we're only going to use one for now. And yeah, we have unlocked all of these skills. So I think for now we're going to go for Static Lord. So here we go. And start getting into this. Already got bold let's try this thing out yep and we will use the second silent neuroformer on someone else not sure yet so let's just keep it around and our wealth is already at thirty-six thousand. and now we should have enough stone blocks to expand even further around here i would like to make bedrooms for our people so that's the plan and we're done researching food preservation now we've got a manhunter pack let's see here tar guzzlers what the hell uh, five of them well then we will just stay inside until they calm down we now have a bunch of drying racks here we can use and meat racks okay i also need to convert kagaraf and then everyone will be in the ideology we will have silver become the leader wander joins hmm well there's only one of these tar guzzlers left so let's take care of it And let's accept this guy. Is he good? Cooking, social, talent, trader. So in his childhood, he was a medieval lordling. And then he was a taster in his adulthood. Malarkey was a bully as a child. What a bad girl. And a lore keeper as an adult. Uh, everyone else is quite interesting. Crash baby and a weaver. Kagraf was a rich kid. A loyal janissary for the empire. And Silver was a shop kid as a child. And a civil servant as an adult. So quite the backstory for this colony. Welcome aboard, Tony. I have a plan for you, Tony. I will have you become a Psycaster as well, so use the Psylink. Here we go, Tony. So then, who will you become? Okay, for now, I will have you go into Frost Shaper. Well, he's already in our ideology, so he can become the moral guide. Halfway done with the wall, still converting. Oh no, actually. Stiftar has been converted, so she will soon be hours new recruit stiftar so yeah you were good at crafting animals plants and social welcome aboard sacred you were a crash baby as a child and in your adulthood you were a weaver an expert at working wool and she's already throwing a party to boost the mood great and tony the chef just cooking up some food who let him cook and here we go the whole base has been completed we will make bedrooms for everyone the relic quest here i think we will do it a lot of bedrooms to work with here i think i'll make this section here a workshop and maybe i can make this thing a freezer although in medieval rimworld there is no cooler to freeze down the temperature so yeah all the food will have to spoil we will have to make long preserving food trader tony Now he is still pretty good, so I would like to capture him. Usually traders should die, but he is too good. Awakened Shrat. What the hell is this? Okay, this is very strange. Uh, it is just destroying the wildlife. My goodness, we need to stay indoors. Muscle parasites on Sacred and Kagaraf now. My goodness, so many diseases. Well then, because Tony was a traitor, we need a new moral guide, so Sacred. We are also starving now, we need more food. This dark shrat here has killed all the animals in the area, so maybe we can eat them. Okay, let's kill this giant thing here, a rocks. There we go, free meat. 
Silent level gain malarkey. Well then, get up to chain bolt here in the static lord tab. The whole landscape has been covered in snow. It is truly dead out here. We are scraping by for food. We will rely on hunting, as I said. And got lever tanning. Well then, with that, we're going to get some lever. We have a lot of pelts here or hides. And no mad squirrels from Maynard. Ooh, insta kill. Shut off its head. But there is one more squirrel coming. Well then, we just need to get more marble blocks for the rest of the base. And Tony here, the naked prisoner, is meditating. So here we go. So we got the dried meat here. So this thing will almost never spoil. During a fierce snowstorm, Malarkey goes out to hunt some doe. Yup, using some fire, lightning. And we converted Kagaraf. So now he can come back out. And a raid from subjects. What the hell is this? A bunch of people. We have like a king here. Look at that crown. Oh, there are two groups. So we have to deal with this. We have the CIA combat extension. So these raiders are quite smart. Okay, one group is fleeing. Oh my goodness, we demolished them. But we are uh, all weakened. Okay, no major injuries or limbs cut off, so we're good. The whole base is a mess. I think we will tent everyone safely here. We do have a lot of medicines, so we should be fine. Spring has begun, so the snow will disappear soon. Ooh, a garland pod sprout. This could be useful here. Okay, need more food, so hunt some more animals. Great, malarkey. It is also spring now, so we will soon grow some food. Okay, we recruited back Tony. Welcome. You were a traitor, but we will forgive you. Hmm, what is this? Freeman hunting Arimanthian boars? I'm looking at this Yumi here, a masterwork bow that deals 21 damage. So we will accept this. We will get a mercenary gunner under our control. Okay, very nice. You will be good. Another one rejoins Kira. She is Kagaref's daughter. Well, she is in our ideology and she has double passion in melee, could become an artist. She is a psychopath and was a musical kid as a child and a torturer as an adult. Oh well, Dragon Ruby, welcome aboard. I have a slight suspicion that you're a traitor, but we will see. Silent level gain from Tony. So ice crystal here creates a node of psychic entropy in the form of a crystal, sapping the heat from the room for the next five days. So we can have a freezer in medieval rim world with magic. Well then, don't have to worry about food spoilage. Let's test it out. Okay, place this thing down here. Minus 20 Celsius in the freezer. I think that's too much. It's uh, one Celsius outdoors. Oh well, it's better than having spoilage. Battle animals wander in. A bunch of insects and they're making love straight away. Interesting ravagers. And here's the man on trip pack from the quest. Only three of them. We can take this out. Okay, they're all dead. And balloons have arrived with the bow. So much food from that manhunter pack. We're just getting stacked up. 42,000 wealth. I would like to have these insects around, but they are eating our food and polluting the floor. So we will have to kill them. All goods trader. Well then, this is what I'm trading with them. And the snow is melting. Spring is finally here. Let's start growing some cotton. I've planned out some spells for bread. Some rice and some heel root. Well, at least we have a lot of food now, a lot of meat. Well then, we're almost done finishing up the bedrooms here, the whole base. And then I would like to open up this ancient danger. Feralisk hunting malarkey. Bunch of spiders we need to take care of. Now luckily malarkey is a mage, so there's no way it's winning. New lovers, malarkey and Kagura. Well then, very nice. You two can have some kids. Another silent level gained on Malarkey. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt here. Just like I suspect that Dragon Ruby is a traitor. I'm not sure if we really need her. So uh, down or not, I don't care. Yeah, just lightning strike her. 
And she's dead. Although she was Kagarath's uh, daughter. That will be bad. I'm now going to research basic cooking here so we can start making fine meals. A shuttle crash. Okay, so from outer space. None of them are really good though, so they will have to die. Another manhunter pack. Oh no, 42 squirrels. Never in my life am I fighting that. The squirrels are still vicious. We are just going to research some more, cook some more food, and then we really need to get some crops down. This winter, we will be prepared. Once we get basic cooking, I would like to get into baking, get some bread. Basic cooking. Let's get right into baking. Oh my, we could get some sweet pancakes with intermediate cooking. Oh, I love pancakes. So advanced cooking here has meals that are even better than carnivore lavish meals. These ones will give us major mood buffs. Okay, we have the dark shrat here, so let's kill it once and for all. The thing is dying. Lightning striked it. There we go. Let's see what we can butcher this thing up for. A feralist clutch mother. We need to kill it. Please kill the damn spider. Oh, we need backup, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. So the dark shrat corpse gives off a bunch of things. Or no, just a bunch of dark timber. Another silent level gained. Hmm, go for Frost Ray here. Push forth a concentrated stream of psychic entropy for a few seconds, rapidly inducing cuts in hypothermia. Okay, spring is fully underway. Everything is coming back, flourishing. So I think we will take out this ancient danger. Yep, this will be great. Kagaraf. Okay, they're all dead. Kagaraf's right big toe got cut off. Okay, let's kill the hive, uh, close this all off, and return to open these things up, the sarcophagus. So then, let's see this open ancient loot chest. What is this? A tornado spell scroll. Ah, so this thing will call forth a destructive tornado to devastate an area. We also got a serene orb, which is like a psychic soothe, and a frenzy orb, which will drive all the animals in the area into a manhunting rage. Let's open up the sarcophagus and and see if we can get any good recruits. So I found this genie here, Sense, and he is pretty good in crafting, intellectual, and shooting. Not very bad at melee, but I will just have him shoot from afar. Everyone else will be stripped and captured for organs, I think. Yeah, I tried to down him, but uh, he died. Okay, so I think Rosa here, she is pretty good double passion, mining and shooting. Has the coordinated trait, which means higher shooting accuracy. And she has the natural meditation type, so it could become a side caster. Got baking, so I can finally make bread. I think I'd like to make some candles now. Oh no, a huge forest fire here. And we already recruited Rosa. Okay, Sydney, welcome aboard. We will have you do mining, shooting, and become a sidecaster. And we also have a new silent level for Melarki. Just level her up. Ooh, anima tree linking. We have enough anima grass here of 20. And now a heat wave from Maynard. But yeah, there we go. Let's go for another Psycaster path for her. So we have Static Lord and Frost Shaper, but we need fire now. So a Conflagrator who will have you, yeah, go for fire immediately. Rare Frumbos. This is unexpected. I would like to kill them. We're just vaporizing this frumbo. Raid from the Komori Shogunite. This is only one group. There are two groups, so 18 people in total. Yeah. Okay, these Edo period people, we will kill them. Okay, one's coming from behind. Okay, this is working.
Okay, they're all fleeing, but they're trying to kidnap Silver. There we go. Rescue Silver. And yeah, we have a lot of corpses. Finally researched candle making. So I think I would like to get steel. We can only access iron now. So where do I find that? So to get steel, I need to get alchemy and I need to research all of this. So we're going to expand the base even further now. I would like a proper workshop area. I think I'll turn this area here into storage. Need to expand upon the kitchen a little bit. So let's go. Another samurai master crafter to trade with. Well then, this is what I'm trading. Selling off a bunch of weapons and buying a good heavy crossbow. Need even more food so we will have Sydney hunt some. It's looking nice and luscious, but it will be fall soon. So we need to get more food. Got a bunch of cotton coming in and you cannot actually use this to fabricate things. You will need to spin cotton here. So let's do that. A feast? What is this? Sydney suggests throwing a feast after the last stockpile check to boost morale. So they will binge on food and drugs until it is over. Well then, have fun everyone. We barely have any food though. A random wild boar in the middle of the feast. Great, got a bunch of cloth coming in. So with this we can make some poker table, billiard tables. And now a siege. Um, okay. This is very unexpected. So, 17 people. How will a siege go in medieval rim world? So, they have a bunch of stone boulders. And they're going to construct a trebuchet. And now a random space battle as well. But we need to take care of this thing. I think the easiest way is just to fire a bolt at them. Yep, there we go. Please kill them. Ah, oh, they're all fleeing. But the problem is that everybody is, yeah, severely hurt. I think this is going to be a close one. Luckily, Silver is a medic and didn't take any damage, so we should be able to heal everyone up. Okay, we successfully tended to everyone safely, so we should be good for now. Finally, okay, we are safe. And we get a bunch of food here and resources. And now the Pelago Malarkey. Okay, Sacred, use Preach Health on Malarkey. I think she will be fine from the plague. Another raid from Subjects. What is this? Oh, not these people again. We will never be able to take care of this. Okay, I have a plan. From the Ancient Danger, we got this Frenzy Orb. So this will turn every single animal here into a manhunting rage. And Tony will activate this thing straight away. There we go. Okay, animals, please kill them all. Oh no, these people are coming through. We have to kill them. Animals, thank you. Kill them. Yeah, this is working. We are demolishing them. Oh no, the deer, we are with you. Okay, one group is fleeing. The other one will... Uh, oh no, they're attacking a dark shraft. There's another one. Another mining through here. They've decided what they can steal and leave. And they're all going. They're stealing corpses. So they are all going to go out of the map. What happened here? Random fire. Anyways, patch up the base. Need to tend to each other. All, all the food from that siege back home. We don't have to worry about food for the winter, I think. Also have a bunch of dead animals. Or should be that we can butcher up. We are always injured here in Medieval Rim World. Constantly getting into battle. We will need to become more powerful. 
and now a cold snap are you kidding me all my precious food we need to harvest it minus 14 celsius all my food why another silent level gained on sydney well then further into kung flag raider get self explosion another silent level game for malarkey okay i think we're going to go for ball lightning here the caster compresses a ball of condensed electricity which will slowly move to a designated location still need to get the base up we are 25 percent done with the outer layer still need to finish the wall outside so please hurry up before the winter malarkey proposed marriage to kagura but Kagoraf rejected the proposal. It was too much for the relationship to continue and the two have now broken up. Okay, well, no baby for us. So we got one more of these dire wandering and I would actually like to kill it. We can 100% do this. A ball of lightning, kill it. Okay, it's going to bleed out. Just let it be. Let it be. Let's see how much food this damn thing brings, if it's so rare. The Dark Shrat gave us the heart of the forest. A sphere of life energy, still feeding few writhing vines. Its pulsing rate increases when held in hand, greedily drawing heat from the limb. An important ingredient in numerous occult rituals. So then, let's see here. Dare Antler. This thing is quite good. My goodness, sell for 1200 silver each. Raid from the Divine Order. Oh my goodness, 27 humans. My goodness, these people are decked out. No challenge for our Psychast. Let's deal with them. So we have a Tornado Spell Scroll here that we got from the Ancient Danger. Let's see how this goes. All hell is on board. Going to try to get a huge chain bolt here. Okay, going good so far. A lot of them are going to die. This guy seems absolutely decked out. Oh my goodness. What is this? Hallowed Sentinel Sanctified Sword. My goodness, this sword is absolutely decked out. So you heal 20% faster and you get 20% less damage. Okay, Kagraf, you've uh, <laughs> lost pretty much all your toes, but uh, you'll be fine. Just equip this weapon here once we kill this guy. Look at that armor. We are already decked out. And these people, oh my goodness, I've always wanted a tough pawn. Cooking, melee, and intellectual double passion. This guy is decked out. What is that? A gun. Okay, they're, uh, they're all fleeing. The Divine Order, they fell to the tornado. Yeah. Hmm, the raiders didn't drop that cool gun. What happened to it? Oh, well, let us capture Lindsay here, the tough decked out pawn. Okay, Simon, 26 resistance. You will take quite some time to recruit. I think the next side cast we should get into is Archon here so we can get Word of Trust. That would really help us recruit pawns. Got another anima tree linking ritual. Well, I don't know who to go with it for, so let's just keep growing it. Simon has got him berserk. Well, we need you, so just down him. New lovers, Sydney and Kagraf. I had Sydney try to romance him. What is this? Fungal husks. Okay, we have to stay inside. What the hell are those things? Sydney here looks like the demon slayer. My goodness, we are getting decked out. These fungal husks are still wandering about, so we have to kill them. Three time lightning strike on them. Yeah, they stand no chance. Oh no, we got a virulent fungal infection. Oh my goodness, so we need to treat this. There we go, 10 to Kagraf. He should be fine, I hope. 
Well, 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 only have this section here of the wall, then we are successfully done with this. So defending against raids should be much easier now. War merchant to trade with. I need to sell off a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'm trading away a bunch of stuff here to the war merchant. More air from both. There's a war merchant here, so maybe we can cook something up. Okay, from both, please go and die. That's all I want you to do. Oh, caravan is leaving. And well, then we have to kill this from ourselves. Kagorav proposed a lifelong commitment to Sydney, and Sydney rejected the proposal. Ah, uh, they have now broken up. Great. Apparently, Silver likes Tony a lot, so they will become lovers. Great. We have so much anima grass, I need to use it up. We're just going to have Sydney do the ritual to level it up. Okay, Tony has leveled up here, and I think the rest of this Frost Shaper tab isn't too useful, so go for Archon. The Word of Trust, where the hell is it? Okay, it's the first thing here. Sydney here, two levels up. So explosion is probably the best. And up to eye blast. And the entire base here. Oh no, malarkey catatonic. My proposal was rejected by Kagarath. Yep. Anyways, the whole base has been constructed here. The expansion. Oh, we also got a Divine Order pistol from the Divine Raid. I would like to equip that. So the first thing I want to do with this expanded base here is make just a few more bedrooms for future recruits. And then I want to make a proper workshop out here and make this a proper storage area. So let's go. So we are almost done here researching up to steel. Let me find it all the way to alchemy and then we are so close oh my so this corpse right here has a dolph till so i remember killing this guy and wondering where his weapon went so let's strip him hmm looks very powerful we also have no food and are starving i thought i would have enough food but clearly not have to go out and hunt have some nice boars here let's test eye blast wonderful ability a bunch of dire boars here that are hunting us these things look stacked with meat the new weapon is working wonderfully look And now a war merchant. Let's see what they have to trade. This is all that I'm trading. An arctic lion is stalking one of your colonists from the shadows. It is invisible. Well, let's see. You can just go to the hunting tab here and choose it. This arctic lion is stalking its prey. And hey, how are you reading this, you cheater? Well, that was quite simple. But Sydney will destroy it. Okay, we will have to do a self-explosion here. There we go. Bunch of boar here. Let's see them all die. So I got a transport balloon crash with Ran here. And she has the tough trait and it's pretty okay. So we can rescue her. She has a chance of joining. So let's see. Successfully constructed all the bedrooms in the new workshop. It's all coming together. So now we'll just place down some shelves in here so we can fit this whole base in here. Let's see how easy it is to take down a Maya Sloth here. With Psycast, nothing is impossible. So we have reduced the resistance of Simon now. I think he had like 26 or something. But now we just need to convert him. Except he has the iron will trait. So that will be extremely hard. Well then, spring will soon arrive. Or it actually is here. But it's still minus 10 Celsius. Let's see. And we have a new raid here from subjects. Let's see the amount of people here. So 23 plus 37. Not bad. And we got alchemy. So now all we need to do is research steel, no? So we need one of these things in order to research steel as well. Ah, uh, yes, I'll just research engineering. Okay, what are they doing now? Mining all around? Very good, a few of them are dying, but they have broken into the workshop. Ah, uh, yeah, they've destroyed a lot here. 
You're going to destroy all of my workbenches. They have decided to they can kidnap and leave. Kagarath is ours. What is the state of the base here? Just the workshop in trouble? You're going to break into the freezer. Okay, one group is fleeing. No, Simon. Uh, I need Simon. Okay, he is down. We will save him. What? How did one guy take you out? A 64 female frail lady took you both out. Okay, the rest of them are fleeing. Time to save everyone. Kagarath is damaged. Sacred, Tony. The rest of us are beating out the last of the fires. But as you can see, the whole base has been demolished or some parts of it. Most important is that the freezer here stays cool. Ah, oh, Silver, our savior. Thank God you didn't get hurt, but you are mentally hurt. Jesus, we need to activate the serene orb here. Get a psychic soothe. Of course, getting infections. More infections as expected. Luckily, we have a lot of medicine. I actually kind of need Simon right now. We are in a bad place. So let's see here, Silver. Chat with him. There we go, Simon. You are godly. We will name you Ghost Matter. Malarkey has two infections in her body, but I think she will barely make it. The problem now is that we really need to rebuild the base. Hmm, I thought I could have Ghost Matter out by now, but his ideology is absolute garbage. He will have to go back to being a prisoner. Of course, catatonic on ghost matter. Oh no, Kagarath, his infection is not looking too good. Oh no, Kagarath, I had a good tend on you, but uh, you might be dead. No way. What is that? 100% infection. You saw that in 100% immunity. He was this close to being thrown off the game. Well then, you're a lucky one, Kagarath. What is Rand doing here? We rescued her and she's going to starve. Well, that's what happens when you don't join us. So Sydney has leveled up further here in the Conflagrator tab. We will get Brief Flame here and I think we should move on to another tab. I would like to get a... Uh, yeah, one of each Psycaster would be good another arcane goods merchant well then this is what i'm trading got another silent level for tony so word of trust but spring is fully underway 15 celsius nice and warm this winter we will have a lot of bread coming in most of the base has been reconstructed now all the walls are back up before the next raid we will have to try to kill them outside of the base don't want the whole thing getting burnt down jailbreaker on kagarath why So I think I'll have Malarkey become a necropath, a necromancer, along with a static lord. Well, well, we have cleaned up the base here, especially this recreational area, so it's looking all nice. Also got this ideology room up, so I would like to, yeah, get enough fluid points. Maybe we can do a conversion ritual on ghost matter. These iron-willed pawns are so hard to convert. Oh, it was effective. Nice. We got the large oven here and we can make bread and sweet rolls. I will need to research basic agriculture to get a millstone to make flour so that I can turn the flour into bread. Everyone in the colony has food poisoning. I wish we could have nutrient paste. Well, we need a cleaner urgently. They are the backbone of society. Cleaners. My goodness, what is going on? Three alerts. Ghost Matter wants to kill Silver and Man Trap. Bunch of plants want to hunt us. Take out those plants. And now the flu on Malarkey. <laughs> she is sickly, so it's understandable. Legendary Ruins Quest. Where the hell is this thing? Hmm, 1.5 days. Sydney, I would like you to check this out. Ooh, a shuttle crash quest here with a vampire. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Maybe get Ghost Matter to become one. Okay, vampire is down and they're all fleeing. So then Andre, 15 year old beautiful vampire. To be honest, could be a good artist and a cleaner. 
and then I will have Ghost Matter become a vampire as well from him. And now a manhunter pack with a bunch of spiders. Yeah, stay indoors. For all reinforcements, right on top of us, okay. Yes, two of them. Uh, that was quick. There we go, all down. To be fair, this guy here, Sakura from the reinforcements, she is also decked out. Could become a good crafter, good medic, which we really need, so let's go. Oh, she has zero resistance, Sakura, so let's just convert her. And the vampire has 29 resistance. But we have word of trust from Tony here, so I was prepared for this, let's see. And down to five resistance. This is great. So Caravan has arrived at ancient ruins. So where the hell is this thing? There is absolutely nothing here. I got scammed. Well, this was a waste of time. Let's just uh, get out of here. Alright, you know what? Let's take care of these damn spiders. Oh my sticky liquid web on us. Okay, looks like I underestimated these things. Burn the damn insects. Okay, they're, uh, they're all dead. Well then, free insect meat, lovely. Not blight on our rice. And Sydney is back with nothing. And now long rot on silver. Now oh, we need to get rid of these corpses. New recruit Sakura. Welcome aboard, Kulbaka. We will have you do crafting, medical, and maybe some cleaning. Oh my, colonists are gathering to celebrate Silver and Tony's marriage. I did not know they're getting married today. We have a bunch of visitors to trade with, and apparently we have 666 cloth. Yeah, we are cursed. Got basic agriculture. Let's just research. Um, I'm not sure. Go up to engineering. Everybody is nice and happy. I'm not sure what to do now. I'm waiting for the next raid. But I guess constructing the castle wall would be the priority. Well then, I would like to start replacing the base here, the inner layer here, with marble. Iron husk beetles join. Hmm, some animals to be slaughtered. New recruit, Andre. Okay, the vampire. Welcome aboard, Lynx lover. So I think I'll have Sacred here become a sidecaster. We have 30 anima grass here, and she has the natural meditation type. And got engineering. Time to construct these engineering benches. Advanced research bench. That is very expensive. A rare behemoth. What? the hell is this thing? The thing apparently has, look, so 1,900 meter mountain on northern boar, and this thing has 1,600. A raid from slavers. They want to try to capture as many as my people as possible. Um, only 21 of them. Well then, Sacred is in a day, so we need to arrest her. Another coming in from behind. Okay, they're all fleeing. Let me see if I can enrage the behemoth. Maybe he can do something. There we go. Uh, <laughs> there's a caravan here. I think it will attack. Oh, the thing is spitting fire. But I think the thing should die, right? We might have to deal with this. It is way tougher than I thought. It's only taking this little damage. Okay, it will bleed out. Get the hell inside. That is so much loot. And just like that, our wealth should climb up. Almost 100k. And now a heat wave in the middle of the summer. The behemoth yields <laughs> too much behemoth meat. And this hide right here is worth 1,100. A new raid from subjects. Hmm, 15 plus... Oh no, 42 people. So we have like an angel xenotype here. So the opposite of the sanguifage.
One group is fleeing. Well, Baka is being kidnapped. Save her. Yeah, they've been wiped out, essentially. So let's assess the damage. Kagraf's left arm got cut off. Kulbaka's left leg got destroyed. And everybody else is fine. It's always Silver that are surviving these fights unscathed. Which is uh, very good. Bunch of infections, but we have incredible healthcare. The aftermath of the battle is horrible. The fire has spread, well, in a circular pattern. It's going to reach our food if we don't do anything. Oh well, I will rely on Maynard to send us some rain. Tony and Silver are making love, even though Tony is severely hurt. His liver is going to die. We need preach health now, sacred. It's almost here. See, Maynard sends us some rain, but uh, there's some coding in the game that determines when rain happens, and it's usually happening happens when there's fires so it is uh, not random there we go tony you will be fine yeah everybody is fine we need a new leg on kulbaka and a new arm on kagaraf uh, we cannot get bionics here we need to get medieval prosthetics here where can we make that so here we go artificial arm and legs or mechanical legs and arms so here we go make mechanical arms and legs i had sacred romance kagaraf and now they're lovers great great more kids hopefully pregnancy is not possible Sacred is infertile. Uh, 55 years old. Incredible. So I've planned out the expansion of the base here. The uh, castle walls. So we will need these castle towers or castle walls. So these walls cost a lot more, but it will be worth it. Sacred working on the mechanical arm. A 3,000 work left. Oh, I completely forgot. Sacred needs to become a sidecaster. Let's go. I think I'll have her become a Technomancer. Hmm, Mend here could be useful, like restoring a condition of armor and weaponry. Let's try it on this possessed magma blade. Let's see what happens. Hmm, very nice. It's increased it to 75%. I think I'll have Lynx Lover bind with this, what is it, magma blade. He is a Milius, so yeah, very nice. We got some deer lever here, and if we make clothing out of it, it will be so good. I'm going to have to research, where is it, tailoring? Right here, so we can get protective clothing, maybe some chain armor. Well, then Sydney has also leveled up, so I think I'll go into the chrono path here. Everything thing with time ghost matter has still not been converted even though we got him 60 days ago or something a year ago so we're having a wonderful conversion ritual on him there we go effective that's what we like to see and we can also reform the ideology so i think we'll go for human primacy here and now we get the production specialist so that is the most important part so this is our newly reformed ideology we can have kulbaka here become the production specialist We've gotten quite a few solar flares in this playthrough, but there is no electricity, so that is useless towards us, Maynard. Also got a war merchant, so making a huge trade here to sell off some clothing and weaponry. Also got a bunch of spelt coming in. Finally, make some bread, Tony. But as I say that, we're having another feast. And how much bread? A hundred bread from this. So much brochen. And got tailoring. Maybe I'm going to go into protective clothing. Another raid here from Bushy Party. So this is 38 people. Okay, one group is fleeing. Um, they are broken in through the bottom side. They're destroying the southern part of the castle. And they're breaking in through the workshop. No ghost matter. Ah, oh, you cannot take him. We have to defend. Please kill him. Who dare kill my prisoner? Ah. 
Um, they're all fleeing. And winter is soon here as well. Minus one Celsius. It has been quite the season, quite the summer and spring. We still need to rebuild this section here. And now a manhunter pack. 19 dire boars. I wish we could stay indoors, but we have to deal with this. My goodness, these things are vicious. Almost dead. Ah, uh, ten to every one. Maynard Medieval is just ruthless. Look at these. Acts very similar to Cassandra. Two major events and then a big break. We're at the end of the cycle though, so we should have how many days of rest? Like ten? And it's already snowing once again. Winter has arrived. Some random dire boar. Let's see it get vaporized. My goodness, Link's lover randomly got berserk. And now malaria on malarkey. How the hell can you get malaria here when there are like no mosquitoes? It's too cold for them. I find it funny how Sacred got Berserk and can't even take down Ghost Matter. Oh, you're so weak, Sacred. So I leveled up Tony further in his Psycast and I got Word of Pain. So any Berserk or Mental Break will be easily dealt with. So Malarkey's Malaria is not doing too good because her right kidney was destroyed. And this will severely affect her immunity gain speed. This is not looking too good. We need more organs. Okay, Malarkey, she will barely make it. And now a manhunter pack. Uh, yeah, stay indoors. Seven desperate refugees, including some children, are approaching. To be fair, I do need the help, so I will accept it once this manhunter pack is gone. Well, production is fully underway. Kagoraf researching, Kolbaka making some prosthetics. If we take a look at our people, left arm cut off, right kidney destroyed, right leg destroyed, left ear cut off, left lung destroyed. Everything is getting cut off in Medina. Evil rim world and we finally converted ghost matter so now he is fully ours you were the godly melee pawn melee double passion cooking double passion and intellectual double passion i also wanted you to become a vampire so i guess implant genes into ghost matter all the dogs are gone, so we can just accept those desperate refugees. Some of them can cook, mine and everything. While well, the colony is nice and clean now, taking in those refugees was a good choice. The colony is peaceful, as well as the outside world. It's time to construct the castle wall. Uh, this will take thousands of stone blocks, but it will be worth it. Muscle parasites on six people. Wow. So I got a shuttle crash quest here and Boyla. He is an independent space refugee, but what satisfies me the most is his gene. He has the natural meditation type and this master psychic gene will be very good for psychasting. Uh, more organs here that I need as well. Boyle has 17 resistance, but of course we have Tony here with word of trust. This guy will instantly be ours. Kagura mechanical arm has been installed 90% efficiency a prison break now get the hell down nobody escapes this place refugees leaving they won't forget what we've done it was nice having you thank you and we've recruited boily the furry fox he will become a sidecaster straight away we have enough anima grass and i will name you lazy lion lazy lion also has a constant psychic soothe around them so if we take sydney here she has a psychic drone plus 10 this guy's op I think for now I'll have him become a protector, seems good. So the protector psychaster path has an ability called regrow limbs. I think this is the most important one. New lovers, Kulbaka and Lazy Lion. Interesting. Kulbaka flirted with Lazy Lion by telling a story about Pemmican. Our first legendary work, a cloth button down shirt. Finally some lungs here for Tony. We got out of this, what is it, space refugee. Surgery failed, you didn't get the kidney. 
and another raid from Neanderthals. 26 breachers. Let's go. Now, Ghost Matter has 30% incoming damage multiplier from Tough, Robust, and his sword. So he is unkillable. Ghost Matter with the execution. The might of ghost matter will kill them all. Yeah, they're all fleeing. I need more organs and getting a Neanderthal will be good since they have the robust gene. So I found this Neanderthal here, Gubia, and she is really good crafting, medical, and melee double passion. And new kidney on Malarkey, so she's finally healed up. Oh, I forgot, Lazy Lion is a protector. We can use word of healing on our injured pawns. Psychic healing, 300%. So Gubia here is brave, so she is just like Iron Willed. So she will also take a year to convert. Everybody is now healed up. I still need to get up these walls. We've barely even done a small bit of it. So I think I have another plan because the walls are too expensive. For now, just make them out of regular walls and then fortify them or replace them with the castle walls, which have higher HP later on. We've Search rustic storage, so go for stews. We have a lot of bone here, so we can make bone soup. Well, spring has finally arrived about two days ago, but it is still uh, very snowy outside. A masterful conversion ritual. You're just going to leave him to escape? Wow, so that insta converted her. Well, all this snow is finally melting as spring emerges. Cool Baka pregnant. Finally, some kids. Let's see here. You're together with Lazy Lion, the fox. The baby's genes is... Oh my. Master Psychic is something that the baby got. So a great Psychaster. But the baby has a 200% hunger rate. And we're almost done with the whole wall here and we're going to expand even further make this a little perimeter here that is just natural and our wealth continues to climb 120,000. finally got regrow limbs here sydney here has a toe and two fingers destroyed so let's try this right here lazy lion there will be a coma for one day oh my right thumb regenerating it's working a psychic storm. What is this? Psychic energy will strike at random and every living being will have their psychic sensitivity doubled. This is some incredible psychas. and these fingers have all healed. So we will do this for everyone, especially Kagarath. Jesus. Hmm, a legendary Viking grave quest. I want to check this out. New recruit Gubia. Well then, welcome aboard. You were the great Neanderthal. Welcome aboard, Dragon Ruby. My goodness, Ghost Matter, you are so tough. But yeah, as you can see, the wall here has been constructed. And I will fill in the planning here. Some castle towers, you know. And now Silver is pregnant. Nice. Just a normal human baby. I think Silver is in love with Tony. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Ruby here is our meleeist. And she has the natural meditation type. So she can become a warlord here. There we go, Dragon Ruby and Warlord here. So level this up. Speed boost all the way up. So let's test this thing out. Apply that. And she should become a speed machine. She is zooming compared to Sacred here. My goodness. Yeah, the colony is becoming so powerful now. And we've arrived at the legendary grave. Execution. <laughs> so we have some gold here and a crypto sleep casket. Let's see here. Jackal Slayer. He is a Fasar, so he is useless. There's no gold juice here, I believe. But he has quite some armor. And he's dead. Well, there are some corpses here we can loot, but rather than that, we should head out. And Caravan is back. And we got stews. What do we research now? Rare thrombos. We can kill this, right? Well, then let's research intermediate cooking. 
ice age atmospheric composition of the planet drastically change resulting in a significant drop in temperature it will last anywhere between a season to several years oh my we are in for the coldest winter yet and it's not even summer or it is summer tomorrow so we got a quest here a lofer chase so this is a magnificent beast that they're challenging us to hunt so i want to take this out it is over here let's get all the milliests and take it out quickly but first we need to kill the thrombos They're all dead. So Kulbaka has a peg leg. I wonder if we can regrow her leg. Maybe I have to uninstall the peg leg first. Kulbaka's peg leg has been cut off. So let's see if we can regenerate it. Another meteorite shower. This time a bunch of gold. So we also have enough steel ingots here for a quarry. I would really like to get one of these things up. Oh my Kulbaka. So... <laughs> Her whole left leg is regenerating right now. And we've arrived at this loafer hunt. Here it is. My. That is giant. Payment arrived, so it just disappeared from the map, and what do we get? Okay, we didn't get the actual corpse. We can make a beehive, uh, so that's nice. Oh wait, the thing just teleported. What? What is this thing? <laughs> Dragon Ruby just smacked it. It weighs 240 kilos, and we have to butcher it up right here. I'll only get 70%, but it's better than nothing. Here we go, so we get one loafer hide. So this is all that I'm bringing. We also have enough steel for an ad wheel where we can craft a bunch of stuff hmm i would like a windmill here so i can automatically grind wheat into flour and the caravan is back home with the loot kolbaka has miscarriage due to poor health ah so looks like i shouldn't have regenerated her leg and the quarry is successfully up so we can get some blocks or cut chunks or get resources and we are repurposing the bone here into bone soup we will never run out of food now a lindworm wanders in. Uh, two of them we need to kill. Well then, lindworm. What can you do against this? Not much, huh? Well, it is an ice age, but it's still 14 Celsius. Nice and warm. Anyways, we're almost done with this part of the base now. As you can see, it's all coming together. I haven't had a raid from Maynard in a while. A manhunter pack, so this is what was around the corner. To be honest, I do not want to deal with that. A bulk goods trader. This will not go so well from them. Well, then got to windmill. Okay, I'm going to go into carrier birds here. This will allow you to communicate with other factions. Finally, a raid from bot. 73 humans, not a problem. This will be great. These people are dying left and right. This is smallage. They're getting through. Some of them are coming from behind. This guy is riding a frombo, my. <laughs> okay, we can kill the rest of them, hunt them down. Yup, you're just dead, and they're all fleeing. I would like some more recruits, but, uh, well, 
The whole base is burning up here. I might need some uh, sidecast to extinguish fires. I think Sydney here can get extinguished flames. Yep. Okay, rain has fallen. We are safe. I need some hemogen farms. So I've captured some prisoners here. Yes, so I don't have to feed on our own people for blood. I do have another pawn here I want to recruit. So Kubel, she is quite all right. Oh, the windmill is up. Let's see how it works. We get a bunch of spilt. And that will automatically grind it down to flour. So what I've done to these two hemogen farms is installed peg legs and then cut them off. And now they are just stuck here endlessly. They cannot resist. Kulbaka pregnant once again. Let's see if this baby is just as good. Ah, this one might be even better. It still has the master psychic gene. Let's go. Well, hopefully you don't miscarriage like the last time. Well, then the ice age is fully underway. It's not even fall yet and it's minus 11. Got carrier birds? I think I want to research carpet making get some doormats with doormats then the dirt won't spread so much so we got the scribe table and now we can call anyone if we wanted to so maybe we can get some traders through here okay carpet making what is next i think we'll go for arcane crafting now maybe we can get some pretty good weaponry and such new recruit kubel well then you're good at shooting and crafting but i want you to haul and clean welcome aboard our Mad deer. Hmm. I want to test out Dragon Ruby. Let's see her. Come on, Dragon Ruby. You can do this. She is destroying them. She's the main character. Yeah, I mean, she is too powerful. Way too powerful. Got some better armor for her. Now she looks like the Slayer. So Ghost Matter, Dragon Ruby, and Lynx Lover. The three godly milius. Silver in labor. It's finally time. And there we go. Healthy childbirth. It's a male. Welcome aboard, Iceman. We're getting so much sandstone blocks here. We can just expand infinitively. I think the next step would be to double layer this right here. So let's do that. And a new raid here from Bushy Party. So we have how many? 50 people? 48. Let's see Dragon Ruby destroy the Breacher. <laughs> this is great. We need to take care of two groups at once, which is a bit tough. Well, this is going good so far. No, Kagaroth. What the hell? What happened to him? A shuriken right in his brain. Kill this group, but now we need to deal with this one. Ah, uh, that did not go so well. Okay, both groups are fleeing, but Kagareth died right here yeah this is quite a big loss plants medical i will need another plantist i found a pawn here himiko she is good at melee cooking mining medical and a lot of stuff we will still need a plantist but for now this will do word of healing on dragon ruby she is extremely hurt Okay, we will have to make a grave for Kagaraf. We will make a sarcophagus in the freezer. So Melarki the Necropath can actually resurrect any pawn here by sacrificing a finger. But the thing is, you can regenerate limbs with regrow limbs here. So you can have infinite regions. So Kagaraf will be resurrected, I hope. Everyone has been tended to, so we're safe. Great Melarki, bury him in here. And now, once we get that Resurrect Psychast, he should be fine. Kolbaka has miscarried again due to poor health. Ah, no baby for us. Another rare behemoth. Ah, two of them. That is a lot of meat we need. Oh, that fire is vicious. 
Yeah, they're all dead. That was surprisingly easy. Another space battle. It's raining down. I would like to recruit more construction nests. I think that's the priority. We're going to construct a huge castle. Minus 27 Celsius. Okay, the Ice Age is here. Kobaka pregnant. Ah, once again. Uh, okay, jeans. This time the child will not miscarriage. Kulbaka and Lazy Lion are beginning their marriage ceremony. Well, congratulations. New recruit Hibiko. Well then, you are a pretty good pawn. I think I would like you to become a vampire because of your melee skill and uh, swordsman talent. Now a raid from the Black Plane Pact. 126 humans. Well, they will prepare for a while, which is their biggest mistake. We have Sydney here, the Fire Mage. And she has a spell here called Fire Beam. So this will be like a solar beam. It will result in a six hour coma. But let's see what happens. All hell is on board. Yup, they are dying. <laughs> This is wonderful. Oh, they're still alive. Yeah, they will flee soon. They're all fleeing. Dragon Ruby will kill everyone that tries to escape. Well then, I found two pawns here. Maximo, he is good at construction and intellectual. And Chapman is just a good combatist, could become a good vampire. That was glorious with the hell beam, but now we need to tend to each other. Now Chapman here, he got his spine, right radius and right tibia absolutely shattered by the beam. So we will have to use regrow limbs on that. Hopefully the spine can regrow. Ah, uh, Chapman, your spine isn't regenerating, so you will become a Hemogen farm. Another dare wanders in. Free lever. Let's see Dragon Ruby solo it. No, you're ruining the solo. Who the. <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ruby just destroyed it. She just sliced the thing up like a meat skewer. Dragon Ruby's katana blade skillfully slashed there, tearing his heart, right lung, and body. Melarki is almost leveled up all the way here to get resurrect, and Kagraf can come back. So we'll need a shooting specialist for the colony, so Aurora. With her marksman ability, it will increase the shooting capabilities of everyone around her. Minus 41 Celsius outside. Luckily, we have some Frumbo for Parkas. New recruit Maximo. Well, then you're good at a bunch of stuff here. We will name you Toxic. Now a raid from Nord's people. Let's see here, 57 of them. Let's use a fire beam here. Let's see how this goes. All hell is on board. They are all fleeing. Well then, heal up and move on. There is a huge tornado from that fire beam. So we're going to unlock a new sidecaster path here for Lazy Lion, the Harmonist. There's mind control, psychic guidance. I will have to look into this. The temperature in the base is not looking too good. In the center, it's 32. In the bedrooms, it's 5 Celsius. We're going to need some vents for the imposter. We have done a lot of anima tree rituals, but this one is the most important important one. Malarkey here will level up and she can now get the resurrect sidecast. So if we go into here and resurrect. Well then Malarkey, open up this sarcophagus and now we're just going to resurrect this guy. There we go, Kagaraf. Let's see here, resurrection sickness, but he is nice and healthy. Everyone here is immortal. Kagaraf, welcome back. Now, Melarki has lost or sacrificed this limb. So you probably cannot use regrow limbs, huh? I will try it, but that means, well, we have 10 fingers on a human, so only 9 resurrects left. But then I'll have someone else become a necropath. We've researched arcane crafting. Well, then I would like to get some better armor, so go up to 
to plate armor, I think. Minus 46 Celsius. Is this the sea ice or what? Almost minus 50. And Kagoraf is up like nothing happened. I can't believe we've done this. We've become too powerful. While the colony is more active than ever, we're soon done with the whole castle wall here. And a raid from Bushy Party. Let's see here. Two groups. 53 in the first group. And 105 in total. Versus a 15 minus the baby 14 man squad. We're going to of course use a fire beam here. Because why not? Just wipe out some of them. And now we deal with them all. The shooting specialist's ability just shreds them all. Let's see what the melees are doing. One group is fleeing. Okay, Nolt is down. Link's lover as well. You two are garbage. Left leg cut off on Link's lover. What we like to see. And they're all fleeing. Just use regrow limbs so Link's lover can get his leg back. Mature flesh be self-tame. It will be very useful. Another raid from Nord's people. Uh, yeah. 17 plus 41 plus 64 in total. Yeah, look at this graph here. Maynard has been ruthless. Oh, they are everywhere, these pests. Ghost matter is just so OP. One group is fleeing, just a few left. They're all fleeing, no damage taken. The whole map is just a graveyard. There is so much wealth on the map, almost uh, 250,000. Ah, uh, my mature flesh beast is already dead. Rebuilding the castle is always a pain. Look how many holes there are in it. Muscle parasites on nine people. We love it. Lovely Maynard. And Kolbaka in labor. A female baby. It's jeans, as I said, quite good. Welcome aboard, Sydney. Yeah, no more babies though. They are hard to keep alive. Cargo pods with a human liver noble fur coat. I think Maynard is trying to tell me something. Human liver is very evil. Dragon Ruby has damaged wooden dining chair due to their weight or strange posture. My goodness, Dragon Ruby. Oh my goodness, I just realized I named a new baby Sydney, even though we are already have a Sydney. We have too many pawns. Stragsa is your new name. Raid from the Empire. Hmm, some high quality men to recruit or resurrect if they die. This will be hell. So far, so good. Still 63 left. The problem is that their armor is so tough, you can barely penetrate it. One group is fleeing. Dragon Ruby, finish off the rest.
Uh, we need to tend to each other. The rest of them should die or flee soon. Okay, all of them are fleeing. That somehow worked. Although, let's see here. This time we took way more damage. Right hand on silver cut off. Obaka's left eye. We will have to use three girl limbs. Right arm cut off on Aura. But we are safe, so that's all that matters. The vampires can use coagulate here to easily tend to the wounded. What a graveyard of a map. Just millions of corpses. Okay, I will have to use three girl limbs on a lot of our people now and we have a lot of weapons here for our pawns a lot of new weapons there is so much lag now i'm going to need to construct a smelter here and smelt all the corpses and our wealth is soon at 300,000. i need to get rid of the items it's only the items that's increasing the wealth the ice age is brutal it's spring now almost summer and it's still minus 18 the snow will never disappear well as you can see we have successfully constructed this castle here that took quite some time but now we are stacked with loot and secured of course we want to expand further it's getting a bit tight in the interior here we need more food so dragon ruby kill them all you can hear her heart beating A raid from subjects. Let's see here. 99 humans. They are everywhere like rats. They've broken in and are destroying the base. But they are all fleeing. Oh my, it's actually raining instead of snowing for once. The ice age is not disappearing. It is still only 4 Celsius and it's the beginning of summer. But at least the snow is starting to melt. Growth moment for Iceman. Iceman became a child. A siege from the Empire now. Well then only 62 of them and we have Sydney here. She can just use the fire beams. So let's go and do that. Here we go. <laughs> Even the Empire. Oh, they're not dead. And they're all fleeing. 282 human corpses. When I burn these up, then the lag will disappear. Mad rats from Maynard. Well then, most of the map has been cleaned up now. It's looking way better and much less lag. We've been burning all the corpses and trash away. Ooh, our pawns are training dueling here. Very nice. Although I think Dragon Ruby would win. Ghost Matter is cheering for Dragon Ruby, of course. Another raid here from subjects. Okay, only 96 in total. We can deal with this. Well then, they're all fleeing, and Dragon Ruby did 90% of the work. She's up to 108 total kills. And now we have 100 more bodies to process, or actually us 50, I think. 58 corpses. Okay, half of them fled. We need more food, so Dragon Ruby is just hunting or demolishing the creatures. We haven't gotten a trader in a very long time. We have no medicine. But on another note, we have cleaned up the base here, so all the items have been 
getting organized, all the bodies were going to be disposed of. Our wealth went from 315,000 all the way down to 250. While the Ice Age is still vicious, it's fall, the snow has fallen, and it's not disappearing anytime soon. Die, bison! Finally, research plate armor. Let's get everyone in some decked out equipment. Well then, life is very nice here in medieval rim world. We now have 16 pawns. I think I want to go up to 20, so we will see. A new siege from the empire. Let's go. Well then, we're just going to fire beam these people as always. They are all fleeing. Sieges are automatically taken care of. Even the Empire cannot survive that beam. This Ice Age has really brought us to a chokehold. It is so cold, so no animals are wandering in and nothing is growing. I'm afraid we're going to have to starve soon. Drags have became a child now. Welcome aboard. I would like to get season time skip here. Locks the entire planet into a season-long psychically induced slowdown, effectively skipping forward a season. So alpha animals also has psychas here, the ravager psychas path here. So we have a quest here to trade in 34 trousers of normal plus quality and this frost amber enchanted grimoire uh, is looking very nasty. So we will accept this. Finally, a bulk goods trader after a year or so. Of course, they barely have anything, but this is what I'm trading. It's already minus 45 Celsius, but we are going to construct a sandstone hot spring here upon this geothermal steam geyser. Who wouldn't like to take a few baths here? Well, just like I suspected, there are no animals on the map nobody to kill no food growing and we're going to starve the only thing we can survive on is apple trees here i think we're going to have to undergo a major ideology transition those humans they look quite yummy here we're going to become cannibals there's not a choice we cannot starve we have to eat humans Speaking of human meat, now we have Neanderthals. 48 plus 102. One group is fleeing. Oh my, Drags is in the middle of nowhere being chased by a Neanderthal. I mean, our archer squad is good enough alone. And they're all fleeing. Now all of those were Neanderthals, so maybe one more Neanderthal melees with the tough trait would be great. Link's lover's Sangifage genes have also regrown, so now Nult can become a vampire. It's gone. Well then we finally have season time skip. Let's see if we can activate this AD Psy focus. Now a raid from the Hound Clan. And they're all fleeing. Well then, we've done a lot of rituals here so we can reform the ideology. Of course, we're going to choose cannibalism, wherever that is. And yeah, now we will simply eat humans. Well then, this is our newly reformed ideology. We're going to eat everything. Humans, we're now going to start butchering them down. I wonder if you can get a human skin pelt. This is the first one butchered. There we go. Human skin pelt. So we can see our average colonist mood. And right now it is at how much? 93 average. Here is the population graph of the colonists over the days. So I found this Neanderthal here, Bren. And she can become one of the best meleists. This talent hero trait here is one of the best traits I've ever seen seen so let's resurrect her and recruit her well then malarkey here we go and there it is bren 
please capture her. New recruit, Bren. Okay, Kami, you are also going to become a sidecaster, a warlord, so you will be the best meleeist yet, Dragon Ruby. The spotlight has been lost. Well, then I want to complete the quest here for the trousers. I'm going to head out right now. Would you look at that? The average conness mood is 99.7. I need to get it to 100. Well, then the hot spring is up and you get increased heal regeneration on it, I believe. I also researched adorned armor simply because it is slightly better, this armor here. So let's deck everyone out in it. Hmm, I need linen to make full plate armor. I will have to grow some linen or what is it? So in our stockpile of corpses, I found this Idakin here. He is very good at construction and plants, which we need and also shooting. So malarkey, another finger will have to be sacrificed, but it will be worth it. There we go. Capture him. A new raid from subjects. And how many of them? 125. They will prepare for a while, which means instant death. Yeah, killed about half of them. Only 67 left. So I found Kat here. She is absolutely decked out. She has the hero trait, tough and resilient. Just look at her incoming damage multiplier of 15%. Well then, we've arrived here at Marulo. So we will fulfill trade offer. And just like that, we have the legendary Amber Enchanted Grimoire. Rare from bows, free resources. All of our Milius can solo this. We have 10,000 silver worth of human skin. Nice. Well then, the caravan is back, so let's test out this legendary weapon. Yep, that will do it. Well then, to start off with, we're going to make lidded armor here. Essentially, everyone will look like this. Seems to be the best armor for now while we wait for linen. Well then, we recruited this Edakin here that we resurrected. Good at plants, construction, and shooting. Welcome aboard, Airdy. Well, the colony is happier than ever. The whole base is nice and clean. And everyone is getting married to each other. Pull back a pregnant, but I do not want any babies. It will have to die. Oh my goodness, the ice age is finally over. 21 Celsius and it's spring, finally. A legendary adamantite glitted full plate. This thing is the best armor in the game, or almost. Wow. Well then, I think our new recruit here, Kat, will equip it. I actually would like her to become a sanguifage. So implant genes, ghost matter genes have regenerated. And now she has an incoming damage multiplier of 11%. So if she equips this armor, she will be unkillable. A raid from Neanderthals. This time, just one group, 56 of them. Well, they're all fleeing. Very, very nice. Took quite some damage, though. All of our corpses and food are rotting. It's 28 Celsius in here, and Tony doesn't have his ice crystal ability. Ah, uh, so much rot stink. Please do not go in there. A prison break on Cat, but we have word of pain on Tony. We also have a shower of meteorites here. Coal ore, mithril. Hmm. Even with word of pain, she isn't getting downed. 
New recruit cat. Welcome aboard, Soul Eyelight. You will become, as I said, the best Milius this planet has ever seen. We will have you equip the legendary glittered full plate armor. I think I would like to make armor out of this mithril as well. And you will also become a Psycaster, Soul Eyelight. We're also going to expand upon the castle even further. So this whole section. Then I think I want to make all of this indoors. Growth moment for Iceman. Well then, these are the skills and passions I'm going for him. So I got a shuttle crash quest here and one of those people had this legendary katana here. So of course Soul Eyelight will equip this thing. And our raid now from subjects. Once again, let's take them out to groups. They will prepare for a while, so one group will be insta dead. Ooh, they have guns, but that doesn't matter. Well then, ravage them. Soul I Light, I want to see your capabilities. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Not a single one of them stands a chance. Productivity is fully underway. It's very nice to see. So yeah, we're currently making the best armor in the game, or at least I hope so. So that will be this adorned armor. I've also replaced the inner recreational room here with steel tiles. We have so much steel, so I thought, why not? Looks much better now, eh? Well then, we've started making adorned great helms, and this is how we look like. I think I'm going to have Soul I Light level up a bit more, and then her and a few Miliists can solo the empire in this village here i know they're neutral but we want to conquer some of these factions you can't believe it's been the ice age it's currently 35 celsius and we are almost done here with the castle i'm not sure how to expand it even further it is becoming ridiculously large more marriages underway just happiness among the colony we have a loot trader with a bunch of good weaponry I'm going to buy. This is very, very good. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. Let's see how powerful we will be now. The good thing is we've been getting rid of a lot of items. Our wealth is not really breaking 300,000. We also have a side cast here called Craft Time Skip, which should instantly craft this item here. So then, the full set of adorned armor here looks absolutely insane. And everybody will look like this eventually. Yeah, castle wall is completed, so let's seal off all of this. We need to expand the interior now. I'm researching into this arcane tech here, getting arcane lightning. And I would also like to have a permanent freezer here. A random shuttle crash in our castle. I need a new human raid here because our food stockpiles are low. Anyways, we've leveled up quite a lot now. Now, so what I want to do is destroy the divine order here. I want to try to test out to only kill this settlement with a few miliists. A new raid here from Bushy Party. Okay, huge group, 116. Well then, let's try out our new weaponry on them. This is hell. What is going on? <laughs> They're all fleeing. Oh my decimation. Yeah, I don't think a single raid can stop us. We were just out in the open and barely took any damage. Well then, Malarkey is also a necromancer, so we should be able to get some skeletons. If there is another raid, we can just resurrect some corpses. Although we will eat everyone here. We also have an ability called consume corpses here. Let's see what this does. We get bodies consumed here and each body consumed increases a maximum neural heat by one. We will also improve all the bedrooms now by installing sandstone towels. Looks much better. So I would like to go out in caravan, but the problem is that the people have everything loaded up and then they just wander about. They don't go out of the map. So the caravanning system is a bit scuffed in this game. It doesn't really work. I've tried all that I can, but the people just won't go out of the map. Strange. Ah, Dragsa has reached the age of seven. Our 
kids are growing up. Well then, this is what I'm going for her. So initially you only form one person with the caravan and then you just add people to the caravan uh, like this afterwards. So now we will try to take out the divine order. Great. Well then, good thing I fixed that. Go off you two. Great. So I light is death resting, so she will not be participating. Well then, we've researched a lot here, but I'm going to go for mining here. We do have a quarry, but I want to see other ways of getting resources. We need way more metals to craft all of this armor. So many shuttle crashes in the middle of our castle. So Malarkey here has obviously sacrificed some fingers to resurrect pawns. So someone in the comments said that I could amputate her arm in order to, yeah, regrow her arm instead. Let me try that. Okay, here, so we have removed her left shoulder, but her left pinky and thumb are still sacrificed. There is absolutely nothing you can do. Well then, we're at the Divine Order, so let's attack them. Let's see here. Ah, oh, this should be very easy. Oh, they have some very good weaponry though. A very nice map here. My goodness, this looks lovely. Yeah, they're all fleeing, but you're not escaping. Kill this. <laughs> Absolute destruction. Hmm, got a pretty good possessed storm hammer here. Pretty good weapons we can take home. We should have brought some animals to take all of this loot. Anyways, this is all that I'm bringing. I would like to attack the empire here, but we don't have enough storage, so go home. But now I know our capabilities. And now our raid from the Divine Order. Well, they saw what we were doing and wanted to kill us. Okay, one group is fleeing, although we are very hurt. Okay, we've coagulated everyone. Very easy way to tend. And two people here, of course, can take out the entirety of the rest of the group. What the hell? 46 humans in there. <laughs> the two monsters are hunting. Okay, Sacred has been shot to death somehow. Well, we can just resurrect her. Whatever. So there are 46 humans stuck in here. I don't know what's going on. Probably a bug. <laughs> and they just exploded. And they're all fleeing. Two people can solo them. That is, I mean, Soli Light is the best pawn in the game. Anyways, Malarkey, uh, Sacred has died. Sacred got shot right in the heart. <laughs> And Sacred is alive, but Milarki has sacrificed one more finger. Well then, healing up quite nicely here, but we have lost a few more limbs, which is not ideal. And Caravan is back from the plundering. Nice. We also got the Sacred Tablet here, and when researched, we should get their armor. So now we can research this thing right here. Although I don't think this is better than the adorned armor that we have. It seems to be slightly better, but nothing too noticeable. Well then, we've research to mining let's see if we can get more resources so what we need is a mine shaft let's test this out here we go the wooden mine shaft so let's see here you can mine iron ore silver ore and a bunch of gems well then links lover mining at the mine shaft i've set it up to get sapphire and there we go some free gems. Yeah, we will need a lot of resources from here. The good thing about the mine shaft is you get the guaranteed resource that you desire instead of a randomized resource out of the mini quarry. I will need the sapphire here so I can make a frost pylon, which will make this into a freezer instead of me having to cast side casts in here to keep this area cool. I would also like you to check out our colonists. They all have this adorned helmet, so they look like crusaders. We truly have have built the perfect army. Ooh, a new raid here from Neanderthals. Only one group, and there is 122 of them. Well then, I would like to see if Soli Light could solo this. You might think it's insane, but I will promise you, she will solo all of them alone.
So far, so good. Barely any damage taken. Okay, she's starting to take a little bit of damage, which is not ideal. Yeah, Solai Light has gained three Silent levels from this. And, uh, wow, well, how many corpses has she killed? 50 humans. Yeah, I mean, she is unstoppable. Literally unstoppable. Uh, some of them seem to be bugged. They're stuck up on this corner here. But they should flee soon. One by one, they cannot do a single thing. I didn't know we created a monster. <laughs> His head got chopped off and the rest of them are right here. Kill them all. Yeah, they are all fleeing. Somehow, uh, she has soloed the entire raid. That is very interesting. They're, they're all dead. Uh, Soli Light took barely any damage. No red body part. And her kills? 113 human kills. Damage dealt 14,000. Good job, Soli Light. Very good job. Except her armor got depleted, which is not good. Okay, Soli Light, I have another purpose for you. You will go out into the world and try to kill as many factions as possible. That's your plan. So we will train you up a little bit more and then you will head out you will survive on human meat you will survive on the people you destroy so i've also researched some arcane defenses so we will have like magical pylons defending the base we do have some castle embrasures so maybe place this behind them ah spring has finally arrived it's the last day of winter so now we don't have to struggle with food Ooh, a too deep infestation and Kagaraf and Dragon Ruby are getting married in here. This is one of the weirdest things that has happened. Well, I don't want to interrupt it, so let's see what happens. Yeah, this is uh, not the greatest. Growth moment for Iceman. He is 10 years old. Time passes by so quickly. Well then, we have another loafer hunt quest here, which I want. They have this size sensitive gene, which I would really like to get for our Psy casters. So Soli Light will do that. We also have another quest here to guard 9 prisoners for 14 days. And there will be 2 raids of roughly this size. So we'll accept this for the rebirth potion, which, well, resurrects you and Adamantite for the armor. Well then, here here are the prisoners. Well then, we've arrived here at the Lofer Hunt. Uh, that was quite quick. <laughs> So when Soli Light has her Psychic Frenzy here, which increases melee attack damage, then her blade deals 62.8 melee damage on average. Butcher this thing up and move on. Okay, and we got the Genie Pack here with Psy Sensitive. So in Medieval Rimworld, we can just consume this and she should have that. And now her Zeno type is quite different. Let's see how this defense pylon works. Oh. Yeah, uh, I mean, that is better than nothing. Our own little turrets here, made out of magic. Yeah, we're definitely installing these everywhere. We've also replaced the bone walls that we had previously here with sandstone. I'm not sure how to expand this even further. I mean, the castle is large enough as it is. The thing is that I don't want to expand if I do not fill in the indoor area here. I need to get creative and start placing something down. And Soli Light is back after the hunt. Welcome. I've also started replacing the torches here. The wooden torches with the glowstone. Apparently, 
torches here lag out the game a little bit because of the ticks for refueling the torches. Anyways, we have two wooden frost pylons in here, so it is minus 24. Never have to worry about the temperature in here again. Well then, here's the raid from the quest here. So just 51 humans on oh no, our two groups. And they're all fleeing. There is one more raid coming, which shouldn't be too difficult. Well then, here's the second raid from the bushy party for the quest. One large group this time, 112 of them. Dragon Ruby destroying them. I mean, the firing squad is good enough on its own. Oh, what the hell? Tornado? Ah, oh, this wind beast here that died spawned a tornado. Ah, hm. uh, Dragon Ruby. He just uh, randomly died. Yeah, that can happen. Uh, but the quest here that we accepted it for. Uh, right here. We will get a rebirth potion, so she will be resurrected. I usually am devastated by deaths, but magic keeps us alive. We've also started to smelt down the apparel from all the raiders. This is a very efficient way to get resources. And then we will craft more adorned armor with it black hive attack oh no a bunch of insects my what is soul i like doing she is destroying them Oh no, these mammoth worms are destroying Solite Light. Oh, we're taking quite some damage. It's time to retreat. We do not want Solite Light to die. Yeah, she... I don't know what's happening to Soul Light Light. She has become too powerful. This kill skip ability or whatever it's called. It's OP. Let's see here. Kill skip. Teleports to the target and executes a melee strike. If the target is killed, teleports to the next closest enemy at no cost and attacks again. Okay. Keep on. Keep on doing it. This is wonderful. They, they are all dead. Now, the good thing with Soli Light is she has max psi focus. And that is because her blade here will restore 20% of the wielder psi focus after every kill. So she has unlimited psi focus, essentially. Let's just make Soli Light more powerful than she is now. Well, then, butchering up all the bodies here. We will soon complete the quest. And then we can resurrect Dragon Ruby here. It's unfortunate that she had to die. More rare thrombos. Let's one shot these. Yeah, getting ganged up by six thrombos, but Soli Light can just demolish them. Not even a challenge. Another raid. Well then, every Milius can deal with this. Okay, Sacred has been beaten to death. Uh, for some reason, she was all the way out here. So we have to resurrect these two now with the quest reward. Ah, uh, that is very strange. But kill them all. Yeah, one group is instantly flick. What is Soul I Light doing? 
Yup, all of them. Oh, wow, that is so satisfying. Six in a row. The shuttle for the quest here has also arrived. So yeah, we need to get this done as soon as possible and resurrect Sacred and Dragon Ruby. Well then, we have completed the quest. So here we go. Our reward finally. We'll have to use Rebirth Potion here straight away. And Dragon Ruby has been resurrected. And Sacred has been resurrected, so now we're back to normal. I could have resurrected her with Milarki, but her fingers are already getting all sacrificed. A group of poor children are approaching looking for help. The children are paying for 70 herbal medicine. Now you need to lower your standards. Somebody needs to put them in their place. The demon is coming for them. Kill all of these ungrateful kids. Yeah, kids, you are all dead. Nobody can escape us. <laughs> oh, all the kids are just dead. Um, I was not supposed to do that. Why did I kill a bunch of kids? Oh, well, more human meat. Amongst the stockpile of human meat, insect meat, bone soup, pelts. There's just some children here. And now Drags has reached the age of 10. Well then, this is what I'm going for her. A new raid from the Black Plane Pact. Yeah, one group is getting destroyed and the other ones should die very quickly. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Well then, I had Dragon Ruby go out to take care of this because Solai Light did not work. Couldn't caravan her out. And what we have here is the Empire in their castle. So we are all the way over here. Well, Dragon Ruby can solo this. Yup, here we go. Kill them all. Uh, we just took way too much damage. Yeah, this is not good. There's no way we're taking them all out if uh, we get hurt like this. We're already down to... Oh, no, this is horrible. Uh, please get the hell out of here. Yep, just escape through the window. Uh, get the hell out. Uh, I will have Soli Light come back, but it seems a bit bogged. I will have to try to caravan her. Well then, this time got the caravan to work, so Soli Light is on their way to demolish them. Okay, Dragon Ruby is back after that defeat. Only Soli Light can take care of something like that. Well then, we've arrived at the Empire, so time to demolish them. Well then, Soli Light against the whole castle. Who will win? Okay, let's see how this plays out. Oh, a very nice village here. Soul I Light will show no mercy. No kid or adult in this village can escape. Imagine you're sh chilling in your bed and Soli Light just demolishes you out of nowhere. What is this? A golden grand meditation throne. So this thing is worth 31,000 silver. I will have to deconstruct that for the gold. Uh, 
And there we go. The base has been destroyed. What a graveyard. What is this? An ancient reliquary. Hmm, a striker. What is this for weapon? Oh, well, let's loot this whole place up bunch of golden great swords 15,000 oh we have a bunch of demon blood potions here so this thing is like luciferium well it will make soul eye light better so let's get addicted to it we should be able to have a good stockpile of it so here we go now the problem is that there's so much loot here but i only have soul eye light to bring all the loot back so this is kind of awkward i wanted to bring all of this back home Okay, 1,500 gold out of that. Um, this place is immensely rich. Okay, this is what I'm bringing home. I'm able to bring all of the gold, which is quite nice. 1,500 gold, I mean, <laughs> that's insanity. That was very fun. Well then, Soul Eye Light is back with all of this loot. Yeah, we're well full of a sudden shot up to 430,000. A manhunter pack here, full of manhunting man traps. Okay, bunch of Venus fly traps. Oh, they are um, shooting something. Uh, they are de demolishing us. I did not expect it to go this way. We're almost dead. Okay, we need to save Nolt, Kami, and Lynx Lover. Okay, please, for goodness sake, you're getting destroyed. Okay, all right, you have water skip here. Please extinguish those fires. Those man traps have corroded our people. Another too deep infestation, but Soli Light will deal with this. <laughs> Well then, we've also researched arcane weapons. So I believe with this, we can make all of these things. Wow, 300 gold. This will be worth it. So we have a quest here to provide 8 times gilded armit. And we can get this weapon here, the dragon fire. We will accept this, of course. Well then, we've crafted a sapphire enchanted grimoire. Let me test this thing out. Comes with its own shield. Quite nice. As for power... Quite similar to the Amber Enchanted Grimoire. Nonetheless, keep on making more of these. Well, we've constructed a bit more. More storage here. Our people are just mining. And I'm going to expand in here. Try to furnish up the castle a bit. But other than that, the winter is here once more. we got some caravan animals that we can use when we conquer. Iceman became an adult. He is really all grown up. Well then, these are the skills and traits that I'm going for him. Ah, I cannot believe it. It's our first child has truly grown up. Now you can actually fight with us, which is great. You have become quite good. Could do cooking. Finally, a raid from the Black Plane Pact. Okay, two groups. Kill them all. The Miliists will take care of this group. And the Rangers will take care of the one down south. Yeah, I think this one should be quite easy for us. Yep, they are all fleeing. They are all just dead. Yeah, unironically, no raid in RimWorld can stop this squad. Even 200 people from the Empire cannot make a dent in Soul Eye Light, let alone this whole army. So we got some gigantelopes here that can carry our loot. This one here has legendary extra carry weight. Another Black Hive attack. Well then, I will see if Soul Eye Light can solo this.
That's a lot of kills in a row. What is going on in here? Kill them all. Yeah, they are all dead. That was quite easy for Soul Highlight. Well then, I want to complete the quest here to provide 8 gilded armets. We will have to go all the way here to Marulo. A meteorite full of obsidian in the castle. Well, we will keep it there as an artifact. We also have a musical trader here. So I'm just buying a piano and harp and selling off some drugs and human skin. We've also replaced most of the base with human leather armchairs. Quite comfy, I can say so myself. In game, of course. Well then, Kervan has arrived here at Marulo, so we will fulfill trade offer. Yeah, we got the Triumph Dragonfire Great Bow for our uh, Well then, head straight back, Link's lover. Well then, finally, a raid from the Divine Order. There are three groups, and this time there is a bunch of them. Solai Light will deal with the Northern group, and we will take care of the Southern ones. Oh, we're taking quite some damage. Soulai Light for once in her life got downed. That is very surprising. Well, I did not expect that at all. Somebody needs to get her. Oh, Soulai Light is back up. Okay, you should probably get the hell out of there. Well, that group is fleeing. Yeah, that was quite quick with the ranger squad. I shouldn't put too much pressure on Soul Eye Light when we can instantly kill everything with the rangers. Yeah, they're all fleeing. Quite nice. Okay, Link's lover is back with the caravan. Okay, our uh, time to bond with this. Let's see how this weapon works. Okay, let's test this weapon out then on raiders in the future. Another raid from Neanderthals. Okay, uh, this is quite unexpected. I was not prepared for this. I know they've broken through. Kill them, please. Yeah, this squad is unstoppable. Once again, they seem to be bogged at the corner of the map. What is going on? Okay, they're all fleeing. Well then, the plan now is to have Solai Light death rest. And once she wakes up, she will conquer the world. So I'm thinking we send her south to around this area here and plunder all of these factions. Well then, I've also spiced things up here. We have a few beehives. So they need a few hours here. And we are going to get some honey soon. So that's pretty good. Just a small outdoor area here filled with beautiful flowers. Oh my, Soul I Light has gone berserk and is, well, killing Ura. Okay, everybody run the hell away. Okay, she is blind now, so should be good. Okay, a staff of paralysis here. Jesus. Well, well, I've furnished up the base here. We got the beehive and we got our animal pen in here. Some storage. Not sure what to do with this area, but it's looking much better. Okay, Solai Light, you're off to destroy the world with a few gigantelopes. They will haul all of the loot back. 
Another raid from the Empire. Okay, this time you swamp big group of 55 pawns. That's quite little. Although these guys seemed a bit geared up. Okay, they are all fleeing. Drugsa became an adult. Well, then I cannot believe it. All of our kids have grown up. We've arrived at this Bartibium dynasty faction. And here we go. This is their <laughs> small camp. Well, one out of many factions to destroy. Well, they are all fleeing. Yeah, there's not a single challenge here. Yes, loot and plunder this place. Okay, looted the place up. Let's move on. The next attack here is on the Divine Order in a nice canyon. As always, this will be a walk in the park. As always, they are all just dead. Nobody's running from us. Yeah, nobody managed to escape. Quite nice. Well, not too much here, so let's move on. We're just going to go here to a neutral faction to trade. And then there's a few hostile factions down here. Well then, we're now going to attack House Heath here. So here they are in a small village. Of course, they're all fleeing. Okay, time to attack more settlements. Let's go. Well, as always, all fleeing. I do need more hemogen now, so I need to bleed one of these people out. Time to feed. Okay, we've traded away a bunch of items here. And we're just going to continue plundering here. A few factions that we need to destroy. Okay, new map, new battle. This time, the Samurai Clan. Oh, I really like their bases. Look way more unique. Ah, uh, massacring an entire village. This is what it has come to. Soul I Light is at 600 kills. Can you imagine? The rooms are really nice to look at. I might have to construct this. Okay, these people have some actual good loot. Well then, a bunch of good weaponry here. Some guns as well. Let's get out of here. Random deep drill infestation just gets demolished. Yeah, I mean, we're just chilling at this point. We have infinite food, infinite resources, have a nice garden here. So we're doing pretty good. A raid now from Enin. Okay, subjects, and they are in two groups. Yep, this will be great. Yep, one group is already fleeing. I just love when they get grouped up in the corner like this. Oh wait, I want to try something. Can we actually shoot right there? Come on, nice shot. 
Come on, this might work. Oh, <laughs> huge. I mean, what? we just killed 10 of them, 20 of them. Okay, that one was quite nice, quite nice. Oh, shuttle crash quest. We can do this. We do not need any more vampires, but we can try to capture him. Okay, a Neanderthal vampire named Shad. Yep, they're all fleeing, and we got Shad. We're also at a new raid here. So we got the Sugai Shogunate. I would like to get up to a thousand kills on Solai Light before day 500. Let's see if it's possible. Okay, base destroyed once more. Oh no, for all reinforcements in Silver's bedroom. Yeah, this is the first time we've had enemies in the base in a while. But uh, yeah, they're just dead. Oh my, we have a lot of loot here once more. Bring this all home. Well, then apparently this is the same raid as the last one. But this time they're in a big castle or something. Okay, a nice little village, I suppose. Okay, this base looks a bit more civilized. Oh, so much loot. There is an armor in here and everything. Well then, let's simply get out of here. These horses are fleeing when Solai Light is in the vicinity. Nobody can escape. Ah, I was going to attack the Divine Order, but they've become neutral towards us. I guess we defeated some of their hostile enemies' bases. Well then, we're still going to attack them though, so let's go. I need more blood, please. Okay, and with that base, that should be all of the hostile factions around here. So now we have just yes, the bunch of allied bases, so we will head home. That was quite nice, just wiping out so many people. Well then, so this is all the loot that we've acquired so far. We will trade on the way home, but yeah, that's quite good. We have a royal tribute collector here, so I guess we're allied with the Empire now. When you destroy an enemy faction, then the enemy of the enemy becomes allied with you. Well then, the Caravan is back here, Soul I Light. She has no hemogen and needs to death rest. Of course, a raid right when she arrives back. Okay, we got Malarkey the Necromancer, so let's make some uh, skeletons. Yup, they are all fleeing, or just this group. We have another one here. Okay, skellies, please help out. <laughs> Look at these skellies. They will now go for this raid. And now a too deep infestation in the middle of it. Okay, Soul Eye Light, you need to do this. Get a bunch more of these skellies and take down this group here. I don't even know why they're grouping up like this. Must be a bug. Soul Eye Light isn't even wearing any armor. She's a naked woman killing everything. And the skeletons are just mauling them. Okay, let's unite with the skellies and take out the rest. Uh, 
And there we go. They're all fleeing. Okay, we're all healing up, hauling in the loot back home. And our wealth has reached 540,000 after this. Half a million is quite the achievement. We also bought a donkey on Soli Light's trip, so just riding it around the base. I would like to conquer some more factions up here, but everybody is allied towards us. Yeah, we're living in pretty peaceful times. Look at this. We're allied to everyone. So apparently we have an ability called Ghost Walk. So necromancers can walk through walls. <laughs> What in the world is this? Okay, we can just... Oh my, we could discover resources like this. So, Soli Light is Silent level 27. I mean, that is insane. We have a lot of spells here. So, we have a quest here to construct a monument. We will need a lot of blocks here, but this cursed fortune here, a legendary katana, is very good. Not only that, but if the building gets destroyed, then 29 manhunting behemoths will arrive. So, we will definitely do that on purpose see if soli light can solo them well then how huge is this thing ah uh, <laughs> uh, that's a lot well it is snowing once again and this structure here will take forever to construct i managed to place everything but the tiles here into wood Okay, a siege from clan folk. So, we have 65 humans here. We will let them drop their stuff. I would actually like to see how their trebuchet work. Well then, trebuchet. Ah, uh, that did absolutely nothing. Let's destroy them. This will be the most saddest... What a social fight in the middle of this. Jesus, how can you two fight in the middle of this? Kami insulted Dragon Ruby stylishness. You look exactly the same. Well, they, uh, they're all fleeing and uh, demolished. This is the death squad right here. Well, we can reinstall this trebuchet, so let's use it for ourselves. Right in the animal pen. Well then, I found this guy here, Takeko, or it's a she, but she's a good constructionist and plantist. So this will be our 20th pawn. We will resurrect and recruit her. And just like that, please capture her. New recruit, Takeko. Welcome aboard, Catherine. We also have some more rare thrombos, so of course, just destroy them. A new raid from Sugoi Sugar Knight. Yeah, not going so good for us here. Oh well, let's see what the rangers are doing. Let's rain down meteors on them. All hell is on board. Well then, this group down here is fleeing, and now Soli Light will destroy the rest. Yep, they are all just dead. Okay, a brand new raid from subjects. Okay, a bunch of friendlies. This is surprising.
Yep, they are all fleeing. The friendlies could have helped us, but it was a breach, right? So I didn't want them to get into our walls. So Sacred has turned 61 and she got a bad back in her spine. So Sydney here has an ability. It's called Time Reversal, so this should heal it. Just cast this and uh, should work. Oh, well, we will see. She turned from 61 to 51 years old. So we have a loot trader here. And this one is my favorite caravan because they have such cool weapons. Well then, this is all that I'm trading. Coming along nicely here with the quest. We only have 20 days left halfway there. This is proving to be more difficult than I thought. A manhunter pack here filled with... I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a bunch of boars. Wow, these things are vicious. Yeah, whole hell on board. Yep, they're all dead. Well then, we're halfway done with this quest here. I think we will barely make it. But we also have researched a presser. We can make use of some milk, turn that into cheese. But I mean, yeah, I think we've achieved most of what we would like to do. I would still like to floor in some parts of the base, but it's looking good enough. Okay, a manhunter pack here with barb slingers. Okay, a bunch of scorpions. This should be easy. Oh my, they're shooting needles. Still no match for Soul I Light. So apparently the max Psycast level here is level 30. We cannot go above this level, so yeah, that's the max. Oh, another loot trader. What do they have? Well then, they also have some good loot and weapons that I'm trading. Bunch of man-hunting feralisk or spiders. Um, they are vicious. It's so satisfying seeing our new weapons in action. Well then, we've completed this huge monument here with only two days left, I believe. So now we get our reward here, a legendary katana. But I'm going to purposely destroy this to see if we can kill all of these behemoths. Here we go, so the Manhunter pack. Yup, those are a lot of behemoths. Here we go, let's see how this will go. I don't think they can shoot through the embrasures. Okay, uh, looks like they can. Uh, this is hell on earth. Ah, uh, yeah, we're getting cooked. Okay, ice wall, thank you. Now we bring in the milliests. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on anymore. These dragons are going to die, though. Tony. Okay, his brain got um, destroyed. But um, they're all dead. Yeah, that was a bit harder than I expected. <laughs> okay, Malarkey, um, we need you to resurrect Tony. Oh, Catherine's left arm and right leg got burnt off. Oh no, Catherine is going to die as well. Yeah, no, Catherine is just dead. Looks like I overestimated these things. Now, Soul I Light couldn't solo that because, well, vampires are very fragile towards fire. While the base is an absolute mess, but we've tended to everyone. But we will try to resurrect Tony and Catherine. Okay, Malarkey, all of your fingers will have to be sacrificed, but just resurrect this guy. Welcome back up, Tony. 
Ron Wild Silver. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Let's see here. She isn't even that sad. Somebody tried to arrest her. Ah, oh, no, Silver, the originator of this colony has turned against us. Well then, be sure to tame her. Hey, at least we have unlimited meat and behemoth hide. I think that creature might be the strongest animal in medieval ring world. We have already, <laughs> we have already tamed silver. That was quite quick. We'll come back out. Wow, Link's lover left and right arm also got burnt up in the battle. Good thing we can just regenerate those with magic. We would be long dead without magic, I can tell you that. Okay, everybody is healed up after the battle. Got all the food, so that's great. And now we can deconstruct this structure here if we need some blocks. Okay, well, now we can resurrect Catherine. So everybody will be back alive. Nobody will ever die. And just like that, Milarki has sacrificed I don't know how many fingers. I will be surprised if she even can hold her gun anymore. We will just level someone else up in necromancy if she runs out. We have some more dare wanderings, so destroy them. A new raid from subjects. Okay, three groups, as always. Ah, oh, they're breaking in through here. They've decided who they can kidnap and leave. How did Nolt get downed? Okay, you need to go after her. Okay, one group is fleeing. They are everywhere. Okay, ah, oh, this is not going so well. Okay, they stole some stuff and are leaving, but uh, now there's a huge fire in the base. Ah, uh, and now our uh, is going to die. Um, this is, yeah, very bad actually. All because Soli Light was death resting. Okay, we will force wake up Soli Light from her death rest. Otherwise, her will die, so we do not want that. Okay, so not too much damage actually. Yes, this uh, whole garden here destroyed. But nothing too serious. Okay, a black hive attack. Ah, oh, not this again. Well then, I'm going to awaken the demon for this. Oh my soul, I light. Yeah, I mean, they're all just dead. Or no, some of them are over here. These damn pests, they all need to die. Okay, now they're all dead. Well then, the Rimworld Empire stands strong, but it has been 500 days here in medieval Rimworld. So we have truly built a good base or a castle, gotten the best armor, the best weaponry, and the best pawn ever, Soul Eye Light. She is up to 900 kills. I wanted a thousand, but it will do. Oh, a hundred thousand damage dealt though, so it counts. I mean, uh, yeah. There is no ending to medieval Rimworld, or not to this playthrough. I believe. So yeah, they will just live on as happy colonists in this castle. This has been a great playthrough, but it is now over. So yeah, 20 people in total, over 500,000 wealth. But anyways, thanks to my Patreon members. And if you're bored, then watch this video next.